only answer when I talk to you. Okay? Yes. Why did you say okay at the end of that? I didn't. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, <I'm ready>. <laughs> <laughs> Episode 3. <laughs> Sailors on the Starless Sea. The Neon Swamp. Back here at the, the Ziggurat. Our players are pressing towards the top. Let's introduce our players. We'll go clockwise this time. Well, doesn't make sense the way the stream's set up. So <laughs> I'll go. We'll go from left to right. Uh, Real Big Fish, why don't you introduce yourself and the characters you still have surviving in our funnel? Hello, I'm Alex or Fish Guy. Uh, I still have all three of my people. Um, I have a rope maker, old ass man up in the front, followed by the woodcutter, a strapping young brawny man, and then the famous cat purse has been lurking behind. <laughs> You're all alive, but you have no luck. No luck, absolutely none. <laughs> I'm targeted. <laughs> all right, why don't we pass it over to the man scar? <laughs> Man, what a just diving into surre surreality. Is surreality a, a term? <laughs> um, now it is. Diving into just such surrealness into fantasy. Um, hi, I'm Scar. I am. What do I even have left? I have a uh, dwarf herdsman left. Um, or a no, dwarf. He dead. He's dead? Yeah, he died. He. He's the only one on the board for me. Wait, Let's no. See, no you oh, no, we have gong. Toby. Toby, the gong farmer, is still alive. Uh, f somehow. Um, <laughs> what else needs to be said there? I'm a gong farmer. I, I farm gong. Going on to uh, a Joey. Did you go yet? <laughs> <laughs> Joey. <laughs> Give me a second. Oh boy. Uh, this oh, is no, a great I'm gonna get I'm gonna get I'm gonna get Oh no. I'm gonna get Hold on. Whew. Okay. Okay, no, it's good, it's good. This no. <laughs> Um Hi, I'm Hello Farts. Uh Joey, whichever one you prefer to call me. Um God almighty. Uh I also Miraculously, still have all three of my characters left. <laughs> I have all three of my. I have all three of my. I'm good. I'm good. It's gonna be great. Oh my god. Uh, um, I have all three of my my characters left. Uh, Hurst, the shaman, Senek, the uh, Dyer, and Fumbo, the <clears throat> ditch digger, and like I I'm kind of baffled the fact that they're all still alive this point like it feels kind of weird but i probably just also jinxed myself saying that <laughs> um with that being said uh off to new main <laughs> uh, i'm new main aka nico i've got my uh elven chandler uh silo gale aka off brand legolas without a bow and uh my boy ilmeg the dwarven miner who i'd be surprised if he survives today, considering he has one hit point and has been frontlining since the start. Well, Legend. we'll see. Yeah, yeah, and uh, on to you, Ryan. I'm Ryan. I'm Sam Ryan. I am playing... Well, let's see. Let's go back in time. I started off playing Blameel, the tax collector, dead in the first fight. I was also playing Shlamazel, the dwarven stonemason who got the kill on the boss of the first session and then got killed. And Bryony was nice enough to throw in another character for me, uh, Vern, the farmer. Uh, he got killed last session. <laughs> and that leaves me with Shirley, the animal trainer. She'll live forever. Let's go. Shirley. Surely. The true chads are down to one character. <laughs> so our party last time, they boarded a magical Viking longship glowing with runes. It has a, a drum on it that when you beat it, it fills the sails with wind, starts driving it towards this towering temple. The party decides to just press full speed, charge into the temple. It's surrounded by beastmen beating on, on drums and hurting the remaining villagers, 
from your village up towards the precipice. There's smoke billowing out of the top of the cigarette, and it looks like there's this towering figure like dancing around up there. The beast men are just howling and beating the drum, drums, um, before joining into a wild melee down at the bottom of the ramp. Um, we've lost a couple people, but you've <laughs> killed twice as many beast men. And we ended at the top of round three. Um, do we... Anybody have any questions about last game? Want to clear anything up before we jump into this combat? Let me just get my head in the... Right state of mind here. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just cried my eyes out from laughing a little too hard. <laughs> that was too much. We gotta build, we gotta build my... <laughs> Oh my character. Brownie, character. Brownie did it, man. Brownie tipped me yeah. over. Me. <laughs> we need like a three, two, one, go. Not just we're live. Oh no, that that would ruin it. What are you talking about? <laughs> I loved it. A good kickoff. It was so good. <laughs> um, and with that, there's a howl like a wolf, and you see this werewolf, bestial creature pushing up the. The ba one of the bakers from your village, you recognize her face. She's screaming for help as he's pushing her towards the precipice of the flames. The drums get wild and there's all these howls from the beastmen and you hear her scream as they push her down into something. Oh. And uh, then you see another beastman marching up the ramp and he has a wicker basket on his shoulder and you see it's like got coins spilling out of it. Gold and silver and copper, it's gotta be a fortune. And you see right after they throw the woman down into the, the flames, uh, you see they dump all these coins immediately after and there's this huge burst of flames and the beast men go wild and start dancing around and beating on the drums meanwhile there's this crazy combat going on at the bottom of the ziggurat i don't know what's uh, worse the innocent life getting wasted or the money <laughs> <laughs> and with that we will pass it to our animal trainer surely there's two oh, beast men one has like the head of a, a a wasp and bat wings. The other one is like a, a rotund fly with no wings in front of you. What do you do? <laughs> okay, well, uh, I'll just attack the one to my north. Uh, I am sticking with the the best weapon I've got, the the battle axe I took off the Minotaur. So let's let's do it. Um, oh, let's double click on that guy and. <clears throat> Dice roll. Oh. A 12 is, is enough to skewer your target. Oh. How do you kill him? Um, let's do a horizontal bisection right through the heart. So he's got a top half and a lower half. And, um. Like anime style. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and so I'm not engaged in combat with the one diagonal to northwest or am i can i go past him is my question that's a good question i don't want to get hung up on it but um i can't quite remember how that exactly works um i'll take i'll take yeah as a, yes go yeah. ahead go ahead <laughs> yeah i'm gonna tell you go ahead okay and until i figure it out and um is there speed on this character sheet? Um, how far can I go? It should be right under your initiative. Y you Let's should see. be yes, 30, probably. 30, yes. Okay, so there's 5, 10, 15, 20. Let's, um, let's, whoops. Okay, so let's move 20 to there, and then let's move diagonal 10 more. Round in the corner. Sorry to leave you guys behind, but that's what this is all about, right? Splitting I mean, the party. Not, not, yeah. not leaving people behind, but uh, getting up there, right? We're, we're trying Saving to. Saving lives. Yeah, yeah, we're trying to get to the top of the ziggurat. Yeah. So. That was the whole um, point of us coming here. All right, so that's my turn. All right. Something's happening. Uh, oh. Don't worry about that. <laughs> we won't worry at all. <laughs> you, you see 
Uh, another villager screaming, being pushed towards the top of the precipice. You see they're preparing to do this sacrifice again. Uh, what they did last turn. They just need to get her closer. Um, okay, and with that, the this guy can go. The with all these guys at the top, they're just marching these villagers up towards the top to sacrifice them. Did anyone yell at them to tell them to stop doing that? No. Well, you should. should. <laughs> Alright. On, on my turn, Woodcutter has a good presence. Yeah. He ought to be a paladin, I tell you. I tell you what. Our elven candle maker, Chandler. Yeah. Um, first, I'm actually going to have Elm make my Dwarven Miner um, move up to join the fight on this. <clears throat> You said he was a fly man or something like that? Uh, this one is has the head of a wasp and bat wings. Kind of okay. a thin, gaunt body. Um, loincloth and a spear. Il, uh, Ilmeg will attack him with his spear. Oh my god. <laughs> Roll that uh, d4 just for funsies, but... I mean, it rolls it automatically. Oh, it does. Oh, right there. Alright, you did max damage with both weapons. <laughs> Uh, how do you how do you slaughter this thing, Ilmig? Ilmig just charges up towards that uh, flying creature, jumps up uncorrectly, eh, jumps up weirdly high for a dwarf, and just spears him through the head. Killing, instantly killing. Then, There's no Sal question. Yeah, Salgale down here is gonna pick up one of the pile of fucking spears that is laying at his feet here from all the things we've killed. <laughs> first and foremost, and then he's going to move to his max. Uh, yep, yep, you can here. do all that. And go ahead and add a spear to your sheet. That will be... All right. Joey, your, your whole lot. What are they going to do? Well, um, Cynic is going to push forward. Um, actually... Based on the situation at hand, I'm going to say all three of them understand that we came here to save some people. Um, they're going to... Now, there, there's no enemies left in front of us currently, right? As we're no, standing. not in this stretch. Nope. All right. They're all going to move 20 feet. Um, actually, Fumbo. Your shaman and... and uh... The ditch digger should move 30. Yeah, I think the yeah, path looks a little Jerry, also remember there is a pile of spears if you need a better weapon than one. I believe I already picked one up from last session. Uh, semi. There are still more of them. I don't think Fumbo's going to get rid of his shovel. He's been doing too How well much damage does thing. your shovel? I don't think it matters. No. I <laughs> Can we throw those spears? <laughs> Good thinking, Ryan. Absolutely. You would roll it at a d16 plus agility. There you well, go, you know guys. What? You know what? Then uh, Fumbo would pick one up. If they can. Yeah, there's eight recoverable spears. Um, just All right. Try not to go above that many. They're just going to pick up one. Um, all three of them are just going to move forward and... That, that's going to be their move. That's it. Their whole action. Uh, do I add that to... Yeah, you can just hit control space and then search for spear. Drag and drop it onto your sheet. Alright. That is convenient. Hell yeah. Uh, and? Right. What a cute little pup. Little doll. Being needy, right? Um, so these men are noticing this, this from this, this battle going on down at the bottom of the ramp and they're just rushing down towards the party. Um, keep moving right there. There it is. Okay. 
this one. There's the uh, bestial chanting coming from the beastmen up up top, drumming, going crazy, howling. Uh, sacrifice social ritual is in full effect. Uh, at your feet, Gong Farmer, is the dead dwarf herdsman, but out of his hands comes rolling this skull that he had collected before, and it's just glowing with this bright blue energy, like almost uh, like a flashlight or something at this point. The eyes are like glowing bright blue. That's cool. I'm going to collect that and uh, his spear. Is the Gong okay. Farmer going to become the party's mage after this? <laughs> You hear uh, this whispered voice in your head, and it says, Bring me to the precipice and cast me upon the demon. Yes, master. <sighs> no, no resistance and at all, immediately. Yes, precious. Yes, master. I like it. I <laughs> do you like want to roll it. a will save? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Um, I don't want to do that. May, may I still move? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that's, yeah. 30 feet. I'm I'm moving. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, oh, I got the or select as well. All right, done. Get get back here. All right. Goal collected. Oh, okay. Yeah, this guy's gonna start <clears throat> pushing villagers towards the top. Okay. The villagers are not represented on the map, correct? Uh, you can see these guys up here, right? Oh, okay. Oh, we see a villager. Oh, oh. Uh, I did have a question. Um, by the way, um, GM. Uh, sorry, Judge. Yeah. Um, the. We probably went over this last time. I may have forgotten, but the uh, going, uh, I mean, is it feasible to climb up the side of the cigarette? It's 10 feet tall. It's a pretty difficult straight climb, but yeah, you, you could do it. I was um, going to start my turn asking that question. <laughs> Sorry. Still no, 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 you're, you're so good. <laughs> that was my, it's so, it's <laughs> convenient. It's a uh, great mind. Here, here's what will happen. It'll be an agility roll. If you fail, you'll make no progress, and it'll be a bit of a wasted turn. But if you pass, you'll you'll climb up over the top. I don't think we're gonna make it. Uh, because I had the same idea. Uh, which color are you? <laughs> which color tokens? I'm blue. Yellow. He's yellow. Gong, Gong farmer. Gong farmer. I, how He's could I forget? Color of PP. <laughs> Stinky. Uh, I think the woodcutter and the gong farmer get along good, uh, and the woodcutter will use his uh, action or whatever to like, like boost up the gong farmer. And then when you're up there, I can like jump up, and you can help me get up there, up the wall. Oh, yeah. um, and then the rope maker, he's old I, I gave him that thing that made him rage or whatever he has um is uh, max HTP is 10 out of two um but once he loses it he's gonna lose everything I believe yeah it's barbarian rage so we got to keep track of how much you lose yeah I, and then all I know is if I lose two I die <laughs> Uh, yeah, that is a... It's almost a death sentence. But yeah, if you want to do that, it'll lower the DC significantly to, uh, to boost someone up. Oh, no, uh, Rope Makers are already afflicted with that substance. No, no, I, I mean, if you want to uh, boost someone up up the stairs, or it'll lower the DC. Okay, okay, so. perfect. Yeah. And then, yeah, that is my turn. Rope Maker just shambles. Oh, yeah, he double moves. Uh... If I, like, if I go from this square to this square, am I now entering combat with this creature, or do I have to make a an, an attack? Uh, no, you're not in combat with him yet. But if he attacks you, 
then you're you're locked in. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Which you know he probably will. He's standing right next to you. Yeah, I think he. I, th- I think he's so. I think he's good. I think he'll he'll just keep running, and he'll he'll end his turn there. And and he's looking at this weird. What is that? Ele- elephant man. He's just eyeballing him, giving him the stink eye, the old man stink eye. <laughs> Nobody does a stink eye better than an old man. True. Lane Eastwood taught us that. Punk. Okay. These men getting all crazy and riled up. Another one marches forward with a big wicker basket of coins and dumps invaluable am- amount of riches just down the, the peak of this uh, ziggurat. Flames shoot up into the air. There's a massive column of black smoke that rises up and we pass the turn to Shirley. There's two beast men in front of you. My turn already? Wow. All right. We're getting We're going past. Okay. Um, all right. I, I'm... I'm- I'm on cleanup, so <clears throat> let's let's move ten feet and attack. Uh, Minotaur, battle axe, nineteen oh, oh my for gosh. nine damage. Tell me how you do it, as you hack I, this thing I down. I don't even I don't even know how I do it. I don't even look. It's just it's like a a, a, a baseball bat to a mailbox. I'm just fucking running by boom you give him a drive by with that axe yeah if I could keep moving I would uh, no you, you're done <laughs> right right but that guy is also done hell yeah damn you guys are chopping these fucking beast men up oh, it, really is the, yeah. this village we're from like known for great heroes coming out of it <laughs> It's it will be. It, it feels yeah, like a movie called Full Hustle. Where it's like a bunch of people living in a really shitty neighborhood, but then it's like everybody's like a martial artist here. Like, what the hell? <laughs> are, are we from that one island that fucking Achilles was from where everyone was a warrior? Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, indeed. Hey. Salogil. Gel. Gail. My turn Legolas. Over. Your turn already. <laughs> um, I'll post up what these beastmen potentially look like. Give you some flavor images here. I'll post it in the game chat. Yeah, Elmer's gonna continue moving on after Shirley. Uh he enjoys a cut of her jab, so he's gonna tag along with her. And then Salgail is uh I'm right up against the wall. Might as well try and climb it. You just uh, going on your own? Yeah, because, I mean, the woodcutter's posted up for the gong farmer, so I'll uh, do it on my own beside him. Just DC 10. Agility check, yeah? Yep, just agility check. (sighs) Oof. You want to burn three luck? Not really for climbing a wall. <laughs> so, yeah, that'll be it, I guess. Unless I can try again since movement and action. Uh, did you, were you already there when you started I your turn? I was already there. Alright, since you're already there, I'll let you try again. Hey. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whatever. Uh, just, oh boy. <laughs> Just don't roll a nat one on that one, because then you'll fall from the right at the top. Dire. Joey. All right. Um, so for let me see. You can uh, just just you can have somebody boost help boost the other person up and lower the DC to a DC five, or you can continue to run around. Those are some options. <laughs> was the woodcutter was was you? A- Countries help. Was you trying to? <laughs> that, that's okay. Take your time. <clears throat> you see the district is like, you're trying to climb up. You can use a boost from me if you'd like. 
Well, I, I thought someone would be so kind as to help pull pull me up from the top. I'll give it a go. And like you see, uh, he is actually going to use his shovel if I can. He's going to try to jam it into the ground and try to use it to elevate himself a little bit to grab up onto the ledge and hoist himself up. Uh, if I can. Yeah, of course. All right. Uh, this is strength, agility? Agility. Agility. Okay. There you go. You got it. <laughs> Climb right up. <laughs> He's so. Fumbo is a, a menace, dude. He, he gets up there, climbs up, so. I want to climb up onto the ledge if I can, and then uh, get. Uh, do I have a couple more actions I can utilize? Here? Um, you or can move. The one is done. Okay, I'm gonna move just right in front of woodcutter. Um, okay. For him, uh, for my boy Cynic, uh, he's been hopping around a lot actually in combat i think he's gonna make an attempt as well. Uh, well i don't know if his agility is the best actually it's not bad okay i'm gonna try that same thing with him Ooh. that's not yeah that was bad not quite it all right uh the shaman hurst he's just going to move up 20 feet is that his no 30 feet two more and that's gonna be it Alrighty. Uh, this beastman to the north attacks the rope maker. It's got like the head of a, a elephant, kind of, but he's got all this wispy hair on top and that cranium like a human. These big, thick arms, and he goes to gore you with one of his tusks. Uh, don't say spear, but. Oh! How <laughs> oh! <laughs> did you do this to me? Oh, Jesus! <laughs> I mean, um, the gods. The gods! You're, uh, <laughs> you're all hyped up on whatever this concoction, this lotus oil that you drank. In a, a wound that would normally kill a man, you're still fighting on. Take four points of damage, Rope Maker. Took. Taken. He's, he's dead either way, almost. <laughs> Okay. Another villager is hoisted up. They're fighting back. You can see them screaming in the darkness. There's this huge, uh, what looks like creature at the top of the pre the ziggurat, dancing in the smoke. And you see as they toss her over at the edge and into the fire. Shit, no. A uh, gong farmer. Crack, crack, crack. My knuckles go uh right uh yeah i'm gonna climb up the uh, i'm gonna climb up chandler dc5 agility a eh? mm -hmm. 16 piece of cake and do anything else Mm, no, that'll be the end of your turn. You had to move and climb. Okay, this guy... Pushes this guy further. Where is this guy? Where is that son? This guy rushes forward to the gong farmer. Bring it up. And it goes to... Grab you, not spear you. Grabs you, grabs you in a hold, and starts to like haul you away. So you are you're grabbed. Um, you'll need to make a strength check to break out. I won't go. Woodcutter, you're being used like a staircase. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was, wait, I, oh, well, never mind. Say it. Say it, Joey. I think I misunderstood what, what I was using by my boy, uh, 
Fumbo. That wasn't him being used as a staircase for, by Fumbo, right? You tell me. <laughs> Fumbo was using his shovel like a pogo stick oh, to yeah. get up there. Yeah, that's fine. That's yeah. totally fine. Kobe definitely used him as a staircase. <laughs> I didn't want it. I didn't want it to. Well, you know what? That was the plan, though. Okay. Yeah. Using you as a staircase. You're up there now. Theo, that would cut us. Uh... Ditch Digger said he wasn't going to move far just so he could help Theo. Fumbo, Fumbo definitely was like, I'll stay right here. Grab it. And he's going to hold the he, shovel out for you to like, try to grab a hold of. Yeah, I just saw them do some wicked shit with that uh, shovel. So I'm going to try something similar with a, a spear um, and try to get up there with the help of uh, Fumbo yeah. and new learn tactics. Easy. TC5. Oh! Ooh. Say goodbye to any nat 20 you could have rolled today. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's all of it. That's un unfortunate. So sad. I don't feel that way with real dice, but with digital dice, I don't trust them. <laughs> yeah, there's something, something behind that. There's a smell. A smelly smell that smells. So is that the end of uh, Theo's uh, woodcutter's turn? Uh, you're standing there, so you can move still if you'd like. Standard decline, and then a move um, action when you get to the top. I uh, I I think he's gonna abandon the gunfire <laughs> like immediately. Uh, he's gonna run uh, as much as he can move. Five, ten, fifty, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. <laughs> Yeah, so there, there's this creature grappling the gong farmer. It has the head of, like, an alligator. Uh, it's got both of their wrists in its arm. It looks like it's trying to pull them along with it now. And you go running up the ziggurat. Uh, Rope Maker will try to make an attack at the elephant thing. I'll make sure to target him. <clears throat> elephant person. Hey, there. <laughs> AC is 12. Do you want to burn some luck to kill this thing? Uh, I don't believe Gabriel has any luck. <laughs> All right. You do a point of damage. I believe him and Theo are at zero. The only one is the cut purse who is going to move. All right. You guys are doing remarkably well. I know. I'm like, I'm looking at the, this. We're fucking it up right now, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> There's a note in here, and it says more or less: if the party chooses a frontal assault, they will pay for it in blood. Oh, we we did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's some blood going on. There, a lot of beastman blood. <laughs> we did choose that, and we did pay for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, the, this human pyramid idea is, is genius, guys. Way to go. All right, all right, all right. Uh, woodcutter, y'all finished? Yes, sir. Are, yes, sir. You, are you done or are you finished? All right. Let's <laughs> go 15 more. Right, this one's going to grab your ass. Oh, yeah, grab your ass. Yeah. <laughs> he's, a, he's a fit woodcutter. All right, Jerley. <laughs> well, let's just keep doing what we're doing. Um, I'll move Do 10 think? feet up to this beast man here. We got Conan here. And Minotaur's battle axe. Oof. Oh, that's a five. Um, hmm. A lot of luck to burn. Yeah. How much luck are we talking about? We're talking What's seven DC? luck. We're talking seven luck. Oh, boy. Um, I've only got three hit points. I've got 13 luck. I've only got one character. Let's go ahead and spend... Let's go ahead and spend seven luck. Yikes. All right. Ooh, so 13 goes down to six. Spicy. Sorry? So, 
Spicy? Yeah. Spicy. <laughs> so maybe you round the corner and you just catch the opportune moment on the back of this uh, beast man where you could just sink your axe into them and slay them mightily. Gotta do it. All right. Get her done, son. Verify what's going to uh, happen when that last guy's killed. This guy's going to stay up there. He's beating on a drum wildly and chanting in some guttural language no one understands. What is that god awful noise that made? Guys, there. All right, Nico. Yeah. Your fellers. I'll make it's really bad with movement range, so I'm just gonna double move this time around with him. And there we go. And uh, so I was gonna just attempt to climb here again. EC10. Ditch digger still. Oh, yeah, I guess Ditch digger wouldn't be helping anymore. Oh man. Ooh. There we go. Like in these 20s. This is uh, ridiculous. You just bound up. You're just gonna follow behind uh, the woodcutter to hopefully uh, save as many of the <laughs> other villagers up there as we can, which is looking more and more like only the one. Okay, so now that you guys are up closer towards the top, you can see this big figure I've been describing that's like dancing in the smoke. It's actually one of the beastmen and they have this huge effigy that they're like waving around and dancing with in the smoke and he's dressed in this elaborate robe. Um, looks like a shaman or some something like that. Joey. All right. <laughs> Let me see. All right, uh, Fumbo is actually feels like a feels like I've been a, a, nope, not gonna jinx, but say nothing. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna move up here, and I'm gonna attempt yet another like little pogo moment to try to jump up to this uh, like a this pole section. vault. Is that yeah. is that what you're saying? Like a pole? Yeah, vault. yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, wrong word. Okay. Pogo is a little crazy, but Paul Volta. Oh. <laughs> Ditching the gong farmer who has the key to possibly stopping this. I think and people used to do that, like to get over rivers it. and stuff. Oh, sorry, yeah. Nico. Yeah, yeah, they did, but. Well, they're they're on my floor, aren't they? Are they not? Uh, this is another climb up, up to here. Yeah, ten feet. I I am on the same floor. All right, and grab. roll to get my. Oh, oh, oh. Roll a luck save. So with this, you want to roll low. You want to roll 11 or less. And this is just a regular, just click luck and hold. Yep, just click luck. You want to roll 11 or less. Roll low, please, for the love of God. (laughs) You pull vault up and your heels are like a little bit off the edge. And you do that thing where you're waving your arms. But you're able to stabilize yourself and get back (laughs) onto the top of the ledge. All right. If you would have fallen, it's a D6 of damage. Brother. And this person, this right here, is one mm-hmm. of the snake people currently. Yeah, it looks like a king cobra in a robe. Big, like, mantle, beautiful scales, and it hisses at you in rage as you come over the top of the ledge. I hiss back. <laughs> 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 Alright. Um, then I'm going to do... Uh, Senek is kind of a little upset uh, probably could have made that had I had a better chance at it uh, they're actually just going to take their 20 feet of movement to move around okay. the corner uh, and then Hurst uh, you can double move by the way oh then they're going to come up this way right behind our animal trainer and then uh, then Hurst is going to also move upward uh, 20 feet right behind cut purse. Cool. Um, and then movement rules, you can move through your own <clears throat> ally squares free, for free. Uh, free right. of penalty. 
understood both. All right, that beast man is dead. Let's get him out of here. Get out of here. Get, get him the hell out of here. Combat get tracker's him. getting shorter. Take yeah. his jacket. Don't give him his jacket. I mean, it, it was going down to the very bottom of the combat wow. tracker when we started. Now it's... There's hardly anyone left. Ill Mig, I pray for you, my friend. I pray for you. Uh, yeah, one <laughs> HP. Oh boy. In a dream. <laughs> But he actually, he, he grabs you, Ilmig, and he starts yanking you up towards the uh, the ramp. Grabs you by the beard and the hair, and is just pulling you. Not by the killing. beard. Don't touch my beard. <laughs> <laughs> um, where's this? Oh, this is the one right in front of our ditch digger. Right in front. Oh, no. So you hit that it. It hisses back. And it says, uh, more souls for the demon god. And then lunges at you, trying to grab you. Um. Fuck yourself. Damn, I wish I had some luck. It's like just trying to grab at you and you're swatting its hands away. <laughs> hissing at like, you. Almost like, like kids like slap swatting at each <laughs> other. <laughs> He's trying to grab you, and you're trying to balance on the ledge at the very top of this precipice. And now, Joey, let me describe the peak of the temple. Oh, boy. It's dominated by a vast smoking pit that glows with a hellish light. A mighty beastman hoists hoist an effigy of a fearsome armored figure high into the swirling clouds as the prisoners are hurled screaming one after another into the pit. A trio of snarling beastmen upend, upend woven baskets, pouring thousands of coins in after your fellow villagers, producing gouts of hissing smoke and flame. All about you is the thundering cacophony of drums and bestial howls as the bizarre ritual nears its climax. So, you're at the top of this thing. It's it's half battle, half ritual party beastmen are like dancing they're in this like chaotic trance um throwing half your village down this uh fiery pit uh so that's what's going on up here god gong farmer you are held you're grasped by this beast man who's trying to push you towards the fiery pit now and i will continue to do so <laughs> he just got you grabbed not going anywhere. That's almost an 18 for the record. But then his turn goes and he starts dragging you towards the fire. Pushing you. Pulling you um, towards the pit. And if he can, he's certainly going to throw you down the hole. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh boy. Uh, the shaman, he's waving this effigy around, wearing these weird robes. He's got a necklace made out of ears, it looks like, threaded all around, all this turquoise jewelry, and he's dancing around and uh, just chanting wildly in the smoke, hoisting this thing up in the air. Where's this guy? Oops. Joey, you see um, someone you recognize from the village, the blacksmith. His children were taken a few weeks ago and turned into vine horrors. So the things you ran into in the beginning, and they have his arms bound, and they're just like hoist, pushing him towards the top of the ziggurat. You see they're preparing to chuck him over the edge um, in sacrifice. And then we pass it to the woodcutter. The woodcutter is going to try to clear the path. There's only a short, short little sprint until we're right up. We have we're clear to the main thing. Theo will take his spear out and try to stab this. Who's this one? M a ape. This one. Yep. Has the head of. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg Ooh, nice. and the body of a gorilla, and you Mark absolutely <laughs> impale him. 
So we had Jeff Bezos, and now we have Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> as a theme. Uh, what, he uh, he treat, treats it like an edible. Like, he just, like, stabs through and then, like, presses it to the ground and then steps on it and continues marching. Ah, it screams and collapses. Dead. Add another to the pile, boys. Mm-hmm. Then that's 30 feet. Get back to the pile. Uh, that one's dead. Rope maker's still juiced up. He's gonna... Is it, like, flanking, like, a thing? Uh, flanking is a thing, but you have to be level one. Frick. And it's not... That's a homebrew thing. So. Uh... Yeah, he's just gonna go... Uh, he sees that he's grabbing him by the beard. He's gonna try to get in his way and then make an attack. So rude, grabbing him by... Grabbing a dwarf by the beard. What's wrong with you, dude? That goes straight into the Book of Grudges. That ain't right, man. <laughs> oh my oh. god. I saw the extra dice. I was like, is that a one? You you cleave this thing in twain. How do you do it? It was over the club, too. That's impressive. You uh, just splinter his skull? Yeah, like uh, just a shot to the back of the head. Uh, just obliterates his brain inside. His eyes are bleeding. Ears coming, out, his coming out of his nose. God dang. You guys were rolling not so great last time, but the dice luck has changed. Ever since we got to the cigarette, we've been rolling pretty well. Look at all the kills. <laughs> and I think the cut purse is going to try to hop the wall. Um, do you want to do you want to form a human pyramid here and, and get all of us up there? If you sure. Don't, I will. Uh, but you won't. Since uh, uh, since the animal trainer is like next, can cut purse like hold their turn to wait until the animal yeah, trainer lets so, up? So just one person has to set up to be the person boosting people, and if they spend their standard action becoming that person, they're good to boost whoever up from that position. Does that make right, sense? Yeah. If you're definitely going to do that, Ryan, then I will, like, the cup, cup purse Hell will yeah. use that. Hell yeah, let's do it. <clears throat> so, like, you can, you're essentially a rope that changes the DC fi- 10 to a DC 5, right? Okay. Is that... Yep. All right, I got to remove Gorilla Mark Zuckerberg from the combat tracker. (laughs) (laughs) Let's put Shirley at the top of round six. Not Gorilla Mark Zuckerberg. (laughs) No! Am I I just rolling a d20, or is this a skill or a... d20 plus agility. Just click your agility skill in your character sheet. Um, All right, here's... Oh, shit. Agility's my... One of my weaker ones. But anyways, here we go. Let's do it. Let's, Let's jump up the oh, um you're also wearing a um, chain mail uh which makes it a lot harder to all climb. right yeah well um fuck it let's i'll, I'll spend I, I got six luck can i spend two luck to make that three or five to get up there i think um no okay no i think uh your armor check brings that you would need to spend more right because the penalty is a minus five on top of that Okay. Um, actually, did you let somebody else do that check twice in a yeah round? Uh, if you don't move, if you started, if you started at that spot, um, where? So if he had to, like, I don't know where he set up. I thought he was right next to me. I'm, I'm right behind the animal trainer. I like right diagonal behind. Oh, okay. here we'll just switch you like this. I don't. I forgot to. Uh, sure, Ryan. You you can go again since sure, you're standing not? right next to him. <laughs> I got I got one character left. Let's try it again here. I'll kill him. Got this. You got <laughs> I'll kill him. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I won't kill your one character. Come I got on, no uh, misconceptions that you won't. So uh, here's another agility. Oh, baby, that's right, the third there. one tonight. It's like last what night except reverse. <laughs> Something is happening right now. What is going right, on? So where where can I be? Uh, just right at the top, like right here. How many times did you crit me last is night, that, Ryan? Right is that your measurement? No, oh, I'm sorry. not doing that. Right there, you you moved me. I moved you. Yeah, go right, go right there. Okay, cool. Where are you? Uh, where yeah, are, I think I, I think going? I hit, hit you with uh, three crits. Yeah. Uh, last night, Scar. Uh, man. 
Ugh. Roll 20 hates me. Foundry loves me. <laughs> cool. Let's this get one rushes, rushes forward, goes to grab the ditch digger, the brave ditch digger. First through the breach. Get away from me. Hen, what's your AC, Gong um, Farmer? Let me see. Fumbo's armor. 12, maybe. Okay. Me? <laughs> so, so you're waving your... <laughs> Uh, what weapon do you use? Your shovel, shovel. warding both of these beastmen at, off as they're trying to grab you, hoist you off the wall, and throw you in the pit. Mm. Oh, man. <laughs> Can he do it, folks? Um, I'll take you all on. I'm not actually, scared. No. No, it's this one. It's this one's turn. So, this uh, man, he looks like he's half man, half chitinous beetle that's been bloated or soaked in water. His neck is connected to his shoulders, and he's a bright red color. Grabs um, the village tailor. You love this woman. She's the nicest, kindest woman in the village. They hoist her up into the air. Uh, one other beast then pours a hoist of coins down into the fire and they throw her down into the pit and a massive gout of flame and smoke erupt up into the air the beastmen cheer waving their spears no um, and he's like he's screaming yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right nico So we've we've had the boosting up thing. Could I have Chalgil move to the edge here and like reach his hand out to make it easier for Ilmig to climb up? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's what I will do. Uh, I don't see why not. That makes logical sense to me. There you go. You're up there. Oh yeah. And, and then Ilmig can take there. his can move yeah he can move or if there's an enemy right there you could attack either way but there's not oh my will follow behind the woodcutter and that will be it for me hold on i feel like some of these beast men have not been taking their I, turn i like they'll think start that. I like to think that Zagil didn't just boost him up, he like fully tossed him over his head and that and where Ilmeg is now is where he landed. Okay. We had some beastmen that were Beastmen. Meant beastmen. Remove that guy. All right, Joey, this one, they're still desperately trying to grab you. Come at oh. me. Oh, no. <laughs> he hoists oh. you up. Ow. They move the gong farmer to the edge, preparing to, to throw you down into the pit. Uh, next turn, you'll have to make a strength check. Oh, brother, I can't wait. Mr. Pete. <laughs> He's a goner. Our gong farmer. My turn. Watch this. You guys ready? <laughs> Watch this. Hell yeah, I'm in captivity. Do you want to... Oh, you are still in captivity. Yep. Break out. Do you want to spend some luck? I don't think I even have enough. All right. <laughs> Moving on. How much would I need to spend? Uh... Eight. <laughs> what the fuck? You got eight. You heard the man. I have seven. I have four. I'm sorry. I have... All right. With the chaos erupting on the other side of the ziggurat, you see a number of the beastmen drop their their drums. They stop their chanting and howling, and now they're rushing towards you. Um. Trying to put you in the fucking pit. Okay. Throw me in that fucking pit. This guy comes over. He's going to try to grab you, woodcutter. 
No. No. Sure. Is it gotcha? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so he grabs you. He's hoisting you up. Got you in a bear hug and starts marching you towards this flaming chimney, flaming pit. The brazier. I like I like the extra little syllable in chimney. <laughs> I I do that. I had a couple extra hey, here. Ain't, there. ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Just for fun. Water. Chim- chimney chimney gets me. That's a tr- chimney tough. Chimney cricket. One. Chimney cricket. Jim. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Okay. I'll but um. all right he's just gonna the beastman shaman just continues to chant he's got this effigy that looks like a a large wooden demon with one eye and big curly horns it has uh, like horse hair and a big mane on the top of it he's like dancing around in some sort of ritual fashion as they throw villagers down the well one okay Uh, pushing right past you, uh, animal trainer, is the gong farmer and beast man. As he, this beast man has the gong farmer's arm twisted behind their back and is just like marching them forcibly up the ramp. Uh, I watch you, helpless. <laughs> Woodcutter, would you uh, want to make a strength check to break out of this? He's just gonna try. Strength? Oh, Strength, man. Yep. It's not good. Really? Unless I do that. Wow. You, you break out and make an attack of opportunity. Oh. Not as no, great. Okay. So you're not able to hurt him as you break out this net 20, but you break away from the hold. Oh. You can um, move. Can I? Mm, it would get an attack of opportunity on you, but is that do it? Would it provoke if I move from like here, or no, do I have can, to move away? You can move. You can move around like that. Yeah. Okay. And I think he's gonna try to shield this guy. <laughs> um, and that's all he can do. The okay. robot is going to try to get up the wall. Beast men come running up behind you, Shirley. Boy. Guy. Mm. Charge is in to all of you. The beast men start running up the uh, the ziggurat. Now going back up the opposite direction they just came from. Okay. All right, it's going to be top of round six here. Boy. Okay. That's all my beastmen. Round, top round seven. Animal okay, training. so uh, Gong Farmer has been released? Nope. They're being marched up to oh, the top. Oh, oh, there, there the he top. is. I was, just, I was looking yep. at the wrong one. Okay, let's attack this one that is marching the Gong Farmer. Um, if I moved five feet south, would that be flanking? Or is that pointless? No, fl- well, well, flanking will happen at level one. But we'll just not worry oh, about it right okay. now. Yep. All right. Minotaur's battle axe to this dude. Um, here we go. Oh, no. Um, I don't have enough luck. So, Damn. Um, 
sorry, Gong Farmer. Um, I'm just gonna move. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna move now. Um, At least I'm marching you in the direction we're all moving. True, true. Uh, yeah, I'll see you up there, Gong Farmer. Um, all right, so there's 20 feet of movement, and then there's another 10. Is that cool? Normally, yeah, normally you would get an AOO from that, but since its hands are occupied with the gong farmer, you're okay. Yeah, I, I was kind of gambling on that. Like, go ahead, give me your AOO. That'll release the gong farmer, right? So, yeah, I was yeah, gambling that, on that. It was, uh, that. That's fair. Um, that, That'll be my turn. All right. This beast man on the edge just lets out a triumphant roar. Raising its hands up in the air, That's screaming with, with delightful pleasure as you toss people down the well. Where's big old Jughead here? Okay, same thing. They're just howling with delight and pleasure. This guy comes over and grabs this remaining villager at the top, starts pushing them towards the precipice. No, don't take him. Nico. Uh, Ilmig's gonna rush over to help the woodcutter here. Yeah, yeah. Come on. I'm rooting for you. Twelve for nine. Right on the money. How do you wanna how do you do this one? Lovely. As uh, he's grappling with the woodcutter, I just poke my spear through one of his hands and as they're like struggling with each other which turns his attention to me and then I just stick it through his uh, one of his insect eyes whatever he is nice brutal and uh, Sal Jill uh, we've got the frontal assault down here so I think Sal Jill's gonna go up here and try climb the wall here Oh, um, baby. You're up there, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, Stalagil, you climb up to the precipice of the ziggurat to just this wild scene of beast men crowded around this uh, pit chimney. It's got lava glow bubbling up from the bottom of it and you see the ditch digger is hoisted above this snake man's head like kicking around fighting trying not to be thrown down into the pit there's a shaman uh frog looking lizard man dancing around uh triumphantly um cool uh joey all right I feel like the first thing that I want to do is actually for uh, Fumbo. This, this is what the shaman looks like. <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> Absolute Chad. Um, are, so they're both holding on to me, right? Uh, no, the just the snake man here. Just the snake um, man? Do you want to roll that strength check to see if you can break free? Yeah, no, I don't. No, I'll be all right. No, I'm kidding. Uh, yes, please. You better succeed. DC 15. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Very nice. Oh, my <laughs> so, Fumbo, you're able to, like, wiggle out of the grasp of this snake man and land on the edge of the pit. Uh, leading down. There's, like, bubbling lava. You see coins down there. You see, like, partly burnt and... Uh, on fire villagers scraps of clothes it's just this molten mess of lava and metal and villagers it's horrific am i able to take a turn to attack the snake-headed man uh sure yeah i'm gonna take the spear that i picked up for him from bow a minute ago um what is the uh damage for a spear yeah you could just control space and drag it into your inventory. I, I tried to do that a minute ago. I messed up. I keep having though. Okay. I'll throw it on there for you. Thank you. There you go. And then your your hit should be plus one. 
because of your right. strength. Okay, there you go. You, you break from the grasp of this snake man and drive your spear through it. Uh, do you want to throw him into the pit or do you want to describe oh, it? Uh, so I take the spear um, and I do drive it like up into his chest, up through the top of his weird little snake head. Not snake, <sighs> little snake, big snake. <laughs> <laughs> and I, you see Fumbo like from the amount of like digging he's been doing he's got a lot of like upper arm strength and he hoists his whole body up in the air and you just see like this look of like just pure responsibility and like strength in his eyes and he hurls him just like you just des described hurls him into the pit of lava uh he doesn't realize what he's doing if this is even a bad thing to put him in the lava mm -hmm. he's just like Serve you right! Serve you right! <laughs> he does a Wilhelm scream as he falls down into the lava. Um, it splatters up and you see this kind of demonic manifestation kind of bubble out of the lava like it's trying to climb up. It's like eight feet down from you as it explodes up, arms reaching towards the top of the pit. All right, mm. that's Fumbo. Uh, let me see. <laughs> That's Fumbo! <laughs> that. <laughs> Do -do -do. Classic, <laughs> classic Fumbo. Alright, then with that, um... Man, my... Senek and Hurst are still really far down, but there's that other creature. That one is not... This one is not dead yet, right? Or uh, no. It? That one is alive. Okay. Uh, the, the cut purse is doing the, um human pyramid thing yeah all right i'm gonna uh-oh we lost some i act it was my fault i accidentally clicked my art station link <laughs> on my tabs hold up i'm coming <laughs> back you're back coming back all right uh i think while i'm describing it i think hearst is going to take an attack uh, against that creature. Um, here we go. And come on back now, please. Uh, yeah, I, I forgot he has a uh, he has mace, but it's a minus two. Uh, All of your weapons should be minus two, shouldn't they? The uh, the sling just gives says oh, die. Uh, yeah, sling is based off agility. Melee weapons are strength. Yeah. Uh huh. But Wh I'm, who are you attacking with, Joey? Oh, uh, oh, Hurst. I'm yeah, I'm attacking. Yeah, he's Hurst. at minus two. First hit and damage. Yeah. Right. He was a uh, sick, gonna, sick kid. Go and attack them. Oh, but that's enough. Oh, but the minus. Do you want to burn some luck on damage? Oh boy. Two luck. You know what? Yeah, let's fucking do it. Let's do it. Mm. Earning. I like to burn to luck for that. Do you want to describe your kill, Hurst? All right. Uh, with the mace, he kind of just gives a little like to the mace, like a little gentle <laughs> kiss, and does an uppercut right to the jaw, uh, and sends them flying. Actually, doesn't send them flying. Sends the head flying. Body stays. <laughs> the body stays. <laughs> Shirley or our gong farmer. What's our gong farmer's name? Toby. Toby. Your friends are. They try to help, but uh, they're rushing towards the top. Maybe they can save some of their their own villagers still, leaving you behind. Uh, do you want to try and break out? I 100 percent, without a doubt, maybe break out. Let's go. Ooh. Maybe. <laughs> or, uh, you want to burn one luck to make that a breakout? Yes, I'll burn a luck. All right. How much luck does our Toby have left? Three. Four. Three, okay. So you, you're able to wiggle away from this guy. You want to make an attack? Hell yeah. I'm going to skewer him like a... Like a... Kebab. kebab. Skewer. <laughs> when you do. Oh, wait. Almost. Do you want to burn your... One more luck. When in Rome. Oh. 
burned. Okay. So, describe how you break free from this thing's grasp and then slay it in the same motion. Uh, literally, he's, like, getting bear-hugged, and he he and he just keeps and thinking to himself to become the turd, and he just wiggles out like a worm. And uh, <laughs> as, as, as soon as he wiggles down to the ground, he shoots back up with the spear right through the... Uh, up from the mouth, through the fore... through the skull of the, uh, thing. <laughs> that was the monk. Damn, become the turd. That's the title <laughs> of the episode. That's beautiful. <laughs> uh, Joey, by the way, you're halfling dire. I don't think they did anything. Did you want to do anything with them? Yeah. Um, let me see. Uh, cut purse saying was they they were preparing uh, to hoist yep. somebody up, right? Yeah, you could move there and then use your standard to get up to the top. DC five. All right. Agility. All right, so that's Senec. Agility is plus one. Whew. You're a little slippery with sweat. It's a little hard, but you get up there. All right, cool. Right on the yeah. ledge. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. I, uh, Senec looks down as like, thank you. Um, what was your What was your name again? I don't think I right remember. Yeah, I'm Alphonse. <laughs> okay, uh, a, a, a ponge. Lovely to make your acquaintance. <laughs> no, it's I Alphonse. love how Joey took the entire five minutes for his turn, plus the extra. <laughs> <laughs> Take too long, man. We had to come back. You're, you're master at spending time. <laughs> love, I love it. We have all the time in the world. Let's do it. <laughs> Goddamn time vampire. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> In a guttural language, <laughs> the <laughs> the toad-like shaman waving the effigy, he says, "More, we need more souls!" And it waves the effigy up in the air, and then throws it into the fire, and it <laughs> collapses down and starts burning. And you see the lava starts like sputtering and spewing and like erupting like a chemical reaction down there. Uh, and that's his whole turn. Woodcutter. Oh god. Okay, so Woodcutter will Is this a square I can be in? Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. a spot. Yeah, it's um, a pit that leads down and you can see now that uh you know those like baking soda and vinegar volcanoes. It's like reacting like that as the effigy's burning. There's hunks of molten gold and burnt villagers falling into the lava uh, and it's like <laughs> erupting up by the gods I almost had you Fumbo ah no problem it'll be okay oh my Whoa. god <laughs> <laughs> that you, ha <laughs> you hacked this one down as well how do you do it? Get away from him! And like while he's like grabbing this, uh, w what's what's this guy's story? Uh, he's like red. He looks like a beetle, but he's got a giant red head that connects to his shoulders. He looks just like his token did once upon a time. Yeah, while he's grabbing our our, our favorite villager, I I just stab him through the through like the the soft spot of the neck, through where his fat. No. Scored by his neck. <laughs> uh, he bleeds this weird, like jelly type blood, um, and he topples over into the fiery pit. Um. Yeah, I moved to get there. Uh, Cut purse is gonna look at the shaman. What's the shaman's name, Joey? Uh, the shaman is Senek, I believe. Oh wait. Uh, no, Hurst. Hurst is the the accent, the French accent guy. All right, now listen, Senate, you're fucked. And he's gonna <laughs> run away. I suppose we are. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I guess um, we know what alignment you are. <laughs> uh, the rope maker, yeah, he's gonna double move. Third. 
Uh... Yeah, you can get here. All right, and that's my turn. All right. All right, all right. Um, another snake-like creature rushes at the halfling dire and attempts to push him off the ledge. I'm just going to roll to hit. Oh, nat one. <laughs> so he goes to uh, spear the halfling and his slippery hands, his slippery scales, the spear just flies out of his hands and he throws it off the ledge. Oh, he says he breaks it. Rather, he <laughs> he stabs it into the ledge and breaks the tip off his spear and holds it up and it's just a wooden shaft. And it once again ha hisses at one of Joey's characters balancing precariously on the edge. It's a repeat situation. Yeah. History will repeat itself. All right. One of the Beetle Brothers is going to go. The Beetle Brothers. Not to be Could have just called them the Beatles. The Beatles. <laughs> What's Paul McCartney doing? All right. This one's trying to grab one of you two. Figure out which one next time. Next time on the Neon Swamp. Become the turd. <laughs> the little stinker <laughs> that could. Alright, Beastmen just rushing up the ramp towards you guys now. Uh... You guys have gotten to the top, but they're chasing you now at this point. Okay, Hurst, you're going to get an attack here. This beast man comes charging at you. It has the body of a man, but a rhinoceros's horn coming out of its face, and it sprints at you and goes to impale you. Jesus Completely Christ. fucking whiffs. Wow. I don't know how the fuck you guys are surviving, but you guys are doing this it. This feels weird. <laughs> it, it's incredible. Like, <laughs> I guys counted how much quest. people were left, and we were like, oh, we're so dead. Is this normal for these to see? <laughs> no. <laughs> you guys would be like, well, he's fudging dice if I wasn't rolling in front of you. <laughs> so, uh, nice. Let's take a quick five minutes. Be back at uh, 8.06 here, 8.05, 10.05 for you guys. And we'll continue this slaughter thing. Handing it off to our animal trainer, Shirley. Been yeah, running yeah. up. My turn's pretty simple. I think I'm just double moving. Um, okay. So there's 30 feet right there. And let's see. Um, this villager's safe now, right? Uh, yeah, he's tied up, whimpering. Looks like he's been beaten severely, wearing rags. It's a local uh, farmer. I thought that was the blacksmith. Uh, local blacksmith. <laughs> <laughs> I pay attention to what you say beforehand. I, I'm glad you remember. <laughs> he's yeah, he's, he's, he's our token remember, junior GM. I remember because you mentioned uh, that it was his, that like two of his children were the twig monstrosities yeah they were abducted once some of the first people abducted by the beast men they uh turned them into these vine horrors so to speak and placed them outside of their their keep seeing how successful that was they launched a, a full-scale raid on your village taking many members uh of the village enough to just decimate your village couldn't survive without them so mm. here we are all right, so that was 30 feet. Here's another 10 and um, 20 more. Get okay. right up next to the bouse. And that'll be my turn. Yikes. Animal trainer, you see uh, down into this fiery pit, gold and silver and copper coins, like a cauldron boiling around. There's lava gurgling up. 
but there's some sort of dark apparition that's kind of forming with the pulsating lava, and it looks like it's trying to climb out. You see these long, slender, clawed arms reaching out of the lava. Mm. Wouldn't it be my question? Oh, two action. Right? Let's see. Oh, this guy. Sounds like my mother-in-law. <laughs> Oh, hey, oh, hey, just and kidding. I love her. She's I walked into the room. <laughs> I'm sure she's watching. Yeah. All right, this guy goes to push the ditch digger into the pit. You son of a bitch. God, I can't do anything. <laughs> you never let me do nothing. It fumbles. And we pass the turn um, to our elf. And dwarf yeah. combo. Ilmig is hearing the sounds of battle back down the way. Is gonna double move towards that way to uh, hopefully hold off uh, whatever horde is coming up. And Salagil gonna like go to the shaman and attack him. Mm -hmm. Which, if I succeed, I'll give that a more flavorful uh, description. But for now. Oof. It ducks out of the the attack. I, I don't All think right. I have enough luck to burn for that, do I? Uh, seven is what we would need. Seven to hit, and then how much to kill? Uh, six. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll burn all of my luck on that, honestly. Oh my god. Oh, I have nine, so... <laughs> oh my uh, gosh. Oh lord, Jesus. Okay, so you burn... Zero. You need to burn seven to get the hit. And then, um... You two have two left, so you can do four. Yeah. Total. Yep. Alright, so... You hit this thing, it's still alive, but you do a, a, a terrible wound to it. Yeah, after... Uh, jumping up onto the ledge there... The... Uh, Chaldra turns around, walks towards the shaman while uh, flipping the spear in one hand, like full can't remember the character's name, but whatever. Just flipping it around, passing it to the other hand, and then starts just jabbing it into him while flipping around like Darth Maul style. <laughs> just in full athlete mode. Yo, you find yourself surrounded by enemies. No problem. <laughs> Man, you you have you have in combat with all of your characters. Oh God, that's a goal, isn't it? All right, so uh, for my shaman first. Shit. What's up, Govin? Thing. Yo, go and Govin, hey. what's up, man? Um, I'm actually wish you were to... here. Yeah, man. Me too. I wish you was here. Um, I'm gonna use my mace uh for first on this this one right right chunder. Do uh, it. Do it. Do you want to burn a point of luck? Oh wait. Yeah, wait. You need to burn a point of luck to hit, and then two points of luck to kill it. Yeah, Hurst isn't going to do that. Um, can I... Uh, I'm going to make an attempt to move away from these two balls. Would okay. Like, not like to be betwixt the two of them. Um, I kind of want to have 30 feet of movement. I can see that everybody else is up there. I'm gonna try if I can try to rush between, rush in front of this one. I don't know if he's gonna have like some kind of opportunity to attack on me, but yeah, he will. Uh, yeah, just I'm, I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. They only have literally <laughs> they have literally one health point, but I don't want to be sandwiched between the two of these creepers. So yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it. Oh Ooh. no! I thought it was gonna. 
first. You're running. This thing just plants a spear in between your shoulder blades. It rips out of the front of your chest. You're shocked to see this obsidian spear sticking out of your body, and you collapse forward, and everything goes dark. Onto the ground, he's gone. Mo. I think that's so the yeah. first death of this session. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Soundboard. I don't. Can, <laughs> can everybody else hear that? Yes. Does that come out of the stream? Yes, it does. Yeah, it, it comes from Mark. It may be something we have yeah. to consider disabling. <laughs> <laughs> Only tasteful uh, trumpets, please. Tasteful trumpet, tasteful trumpet noises. Cynic uh, is. So I have it. I have it in my my inventory for Cynic, but I did not give it the name. It's one die three. It's like a. I think I might have picked up like a broken spear or something from last session. Uh, let me see if I have something. Because it, it just says one. I'm fine with it, obviously, but it's like. I think I you should I, have I something. It is. I feel like that's just the default item. Like we lost your previous item. He did. He did lose it. Oh, you threw it, right? Yeah. Uh, I, ha, ha, would your dyer have picked up a spear by now? They're <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I didn't say he did, but I feel like in this situation with freaking lava and, and like the amount of enemies we've been fighting, he probably would have attempted to pick up a spear. Uh, I, I'll be kind to you and give your character a spear, Joey. Much obliged. Thank you. There you right. go. On your sheet. Thanks so much. Uh, with Senek now on top of that, uh, I see that the Miner and Gong looking at least like they're fighting that big fat neck dude. Um, Paul McCartney. Yeah, Paul McCartney. I'm going to move in. Uh, and I'm going to attack this. this Get him. Oh, how do you do it? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, wow. Water. Um... They take the spear and they just like do one of those like driving forces. He's been pogoing and drives it right on top of his head, like jumps in the air, drives it through his skull down onto the ground, pins him, pulls it back out. Nasty. That'll Wait, be it. Red guy or snake guy? Uh, snake guy. All right. Good choice. Good choice. <laughs> how All do right. you do it, Joey? How, how do you always make time run out? I have to think really, really it's hard talent. to yeah. think about anything. So yes, it is. Ditch. What about our ditch digger? Where are we at? I don't want to waste anyone's time. No, Let's... take your take your ditch digger's turn. Yeah, don't skip a turn, bro. All right. Yeah, and the cut first. My ten second turn will make up for your ten minute turn. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Actually, you know what? Uh. My boy Fumbo does have a spear. You did you say that the shaman guy, this one over here, was like doing something with the lava, not only like just commanding other people, I guess, or like what was he doing? It was at first. He was waving this effigy around in the smoke, and then uh, as you guys were surmounting the top of the ziggurat he tossed it into the lava and it seemed to be that like that was the catalyst to make it start frothing up and um i'm i'm going to risk it for the biscuit uh i'm gonna take my spear and i'm gonna hurl it at him d16 plus agility it'll be epic if you hit all right uh in the future roll a uh d16 plus your agility Let's see what's okay. That's plus two, so uh, that's enough to spear the shaman through the chest. Uh, <laughs> spear sprouts out the other side. He grabs it and spins around. Frog tongue lolling out of his mouth, and he just topples backwards down into the lava. It erupts and bubbles and bursts around you, but you kill him. Hooray! 
Uh, now yeah. you don't have a spear, though. Nope, don't <laughs> have a spear. Uh, and All right. Guy right beside you trying to grab you. The yep. shaman is dead. Hmm. Gong farmer. I will drive my spear into this. What is this, a monkey man? <laughs> um. And I will say as I do so, I eat sh pieces of shit like you for breakfast. Oh. You eat shit for breakfast? N oh. No! <laughs> You stab him for a point of damage as you say that. Yeah, apparently. Is it even a point of damage? Gnarly. Negative. <laughs> Alright, you want to burn your last two luck? Uh, 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 no. Uh, good, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Alright, are you staying put? Um, yeah. Okay. Woodcutter. The woodcutter seeing uh, Fumbo throw his weapon and then turn back to this combatant. It's like, oh, I won't let you hurt my friend. You'll run up to uh, the rhino man and start spearing him. Destroy him. Oh, man. Okay. Dab it. Um, Great point. Yeah, the rope maker's gonna run around, see that everyone's like good, and he'll uh, close in. <laughs> close in. Swing wildly with a club. Oh my uh, god, you crumple this one. <laughs> Are you tired of describing? I've literally run out of space <laughs> to stack my uh, my my you, dead you oh, boys. Geez, I scroll over and see that now it's a lot of bodies yeah all right it's my my chance to make a comeback is the cut purse gonna do anything um no like uh, if it sounded like this fight went better he might have went back um i think he's uh going to r run away and hide in the boat Fire up the engine. Yeah, I think he's trying to like unlodge it, and like okay. he's using all the tools as all these spears. He's probably gathering on the way to try to like wedge it out. There, it's like grounded up on the beach, but you could you could begin trying to do that. Yeah, I like it. All right, beast man. Um. I'm going to leave it up to a random roll. I hate to just kill Joey's character just because it's his last one. <laughs> um, <laughs> let it be, brother. Let but it no, I'm going to roll. It's his last one as well. If, uh, if, it, it, if it comes up a two, I'm attacking Joey. But one, two, three. Uh, one is our Ilmig. Toby is two. Wait, you said okay. you said last character is the is the ditch digger and the dyer? Like which one? Uh it I'm sorry. Scars. I said Joey, but I meant Scars <laughs> last character. Yeah. I was like, wait a minute, wait, wait, well, what happened? Judging by his was... luck with being targeted in the Pathfinder game, you're about to roll two. If the dice decide that's what that is what it is. Oh my god. Oh. I said it. Conjured into existence. No, it's just. <laughs> but wait, that was a D three, but you rolled a six sider, so a two on a six sider is a one, right? Get out of here! Right? <laughs> wait, wait, no. You're tr In the no, chat, D three. Oh, it, it, it looked like a D six physically, but on on paper, it was a D three. But that does not hit. Okay, it bounces off your blackened chainmail that you found from the burnt out church upstairs. Uh, Sean, how do you do it? How do you always wow. get targeted by the dice? Bruh. How the f Bruh. Dude, that was... At least he hasn't crit me three times yet tonight. <laughs> I just did... <laughs> the dice decided they wanted to kill you. Oh, no. Yeah, this, uh... Bulbous beetle guy's eyes are bulging out of his head. 
looks like he's been in like the vacuum of space and his body's just been exploded comes stumbling towards you as you're trying to push the boat free cut purse all right that's his turn let's get through these boys all right dire goes to stab you and misses Oh, ha! They do, do, do one of those <laughs> movements. <sighs> Miss me. Um. Miss me with that shit. <laughs> Fuck out of here with that shit. <laughs> Alright. One is the gong farmer, two is our dire. Dire goes to spear you. Oof. Two points of damage on a 14. You're still up. Oh, my God. Not 23 points of health. Jesus, what? Stop it. Okay. All right, still standing. Not my bunch. Mm -hmm. Not by much. They're spawning. <laughs> he got off the tracker somehow. All right. Five more. Wow. We've made it to round nine. Animal trainer, you've slaughtered the beast men that were crowded around the top of here. The They're... fiery pit is boiling and bubbling up towards the top now, and you see some sort of form forming out of the, the magma itself. Magma. What hot magma? Um, you right there, fish? <laughs> My camera is malfunctioning. Mm. Malfunction. Uh, hey, look at me. I'm a real big fish over here. <laughs> um, Skull. So, there's no enemies up at the top, or, or is this thing formed yet? Uh, no, there's no enemies at the top currently. Hmm. And, um, over here, Gong Farmer, Dwarven, Miner, Halfling, Dyer, uh, the, oof, they're, it's three on three over there, soon to be three on four, huh? Indeed. Yikes. Well... Um... All right, time for some heroics, I guess. So I will move and... Uh, you said D6 for a fall uh, off from, from one uh, level to the lower level. What if it's intentional? Uh, you can roll an agility. Yeah, you can yuck. Um, hmm. I'm sure they'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it'd be all right um let's see how about how how about i move over to the blacksmith uh cut him free and arm him with the what is uh, you're looking at him. His cheeks are all gaunt, and his eyes are rolling into the top of his head. He could probably be nursed to health, but he doesn't. I mean, he looks like he could just barely walk if that's what oh. you wanted him to do. He's not combat ready. Okay. Um, well, shit. Um, okay, so instead of that... Well, shit. <laughs> yeah. Throw, throw him in the pit. Uh, the, the, the town hated rope maker is here. Uh, go on. Uh, you, uh, he could set up a rope if falling is uh, is an issue. If the, you want to like hold your turn, because it's like a whole row of us going, and then it's the beastmen. Like, is there a way we can like work together, kind of out of order? Uh, DM. Uh, you can delay if you want. Yeah. Yeah, I'll delay. I don't know what okay. to do, so I okay. will delay. Uh, 
bursting out of the lava oh, from God. a demonic <laughs> form. It's made out of oh. like this obsidian black molten stone, and it just bursts out completely made out of stone. It has a cyclopean eye in the middle of its head, Run. and um, it's like glowing with this blue fire. Uh, it looks like this. I'll have to post it in the DCC chat, and then I'll move it over to the game. Uh, and there's just this triumphant l roar as it bursts out of the top of the ziggurat and the lights all dim down and the beastmen all howl and almost cower down on the ground as this thing erupts. Uh, and... Alright. Oh, we're fucked. <laughs> yep, we're all dead. I'm not happy. It looks like this completely black molten stone it's like half emerged out of the pit itself uh, arms raised up triumphantly it has a flail with three heads and another hand that's burning with fire and the stone starts to crack and break away and you see revealed behind it is a blue demon like creature uh the blur burning blue eye and he, it, I should say, looks like this. We really need that skull. Uh, oh my god. Alright. That's fuck. This I'll, happens. I'll, I'll go ahead and jump in there with the Minotaur's battle axe. Okay. I mean, not literally jump in <laughs> to the turn order. <laughs> yeah, hand, hands off the chest piece. But I've been nice uh, enough. Let's let's, let's let's swing the Minotaur's battle axe, perhaps for the last time. Let's go. Let's go. Um, oh, a, a 14 is a hit and nine points of damage. Are you fucking fuck kidding yeah. me? Awesome. Again. Are you fucking kidding? Okay. Uh, you, you sink your axe into this thing, cleaving into its body. It, it has like a fleshy form, but when you carve into it, molten coins and like little bits of fleshy bone and lava pour out of the wound and it screams in some sort of pain. And its eye like bur bursts with this blue flame and it looks enraged. Awesome. Uh, that's a mighty blow. Uh, okay, now, Nico. Yeah, here we uh, go. Omic's gonna attack Paul McCartney over here. Paul McCartney. The Beetle Man, whatever the fuck. I love this black and white art. <sighs> it's fun. <laughs> uh, three. Three. You're off by three. I'll spend that. Omic has almost all his luck from the start still. So. Alright, you kill this one. Do you wanna flavor it or are you good? Uh, just spear through the face, the little bit of his face that isn't armored, like a beetle. And, uh, he'll move up as well. Okay. And, that, and Salugo, seeing this massive thing, will go over here to this ledge, scream down to the others, uh, we're gonna need you guys up here, and then I will toss my spear at, uh, in, what is it, Rhino Man? Yeah. Which is uh, D16 plus agility. It's one D16 plus two. That's Mr. Reinemann. Plus two is yeah, awesome. right. Oh, you have no luck to burn. Uh -huh. Yeah. You're just not, you're a candle maker, you know? You're just developing your skills as an adventurer. You're not used to throwing a spear yet. Mm. To kill a Reino man. Yeah, as I said, I also shout down to the others down there. We're going to need you guys up here, and that'll be it. I think they're nope. preoccupied. That's my fault. <laughs> that, that was the point of me throwing it down there. I want to take <laughs> it out so they can move. Our brave halfling. Somehow still alive. Surrounded by enemies. Holy shit. <laughs> this is not going to be a bit of a problem. As someone said, you don't want to die with luck. It's true. Too much of it, but I have some. 
Um, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to try to attack this snake person with the spear that I picked up. It is AF. That's bad. No. <laughs> no. It's quite bad, Mish. Oh, lordy. Quite bad, indeed. I just missed completely, I guess. I'd <sighs> spent too much luck. There'd be no way, right? Like, yeah. Even if I spent all of it. Ooh. Okay. Um. Damn. Well, my ditch, ditch boy. <laughs> ditch boy. I threw the spear earlier. I. I don't have my shovel anymore, huh? Why would you? <laughs> uh, your shovel is on the ditch digger. I don't know here. I don't know what happened uh, to your item. So uh, I think I have back. free action. Everything, everything's like uh, Theo had two spears. Um, he was planning on throwing one and then keeping one. Um, can I like just hand it off? Uh, th- woodcutter right next to a ditch digger. Uh, on your turn, you could. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, but I will say, uh, based on this, that one-eyed cyclop creature up. Uh, can I hit him from this range with my shovel? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Check this, you fucking beast. And he's going to try to slash at him with it. Oh. Okay, that's great. Luck's running all out at the end. <laughs> yeah, all at the end where it's the most important. All of it's going away. I thought the, I thought the beastmen were the boss. The 30 beastmen. It's no, not they, were, they were summoning we need the gun farmer up here. He's got the magical skull, doesn't he? Yeah, Just, our gong farmer. Who is going to run like a maniac? It starts, it starts like vibrating and glowing with the same bright blue that the demon cyclopean eye is glowing with it's like vibrating in your hands and you're just getting these whispers in your head that are like telling you here now there get him revenge revenge so the the dwarven miner and the halfling die are here the gong fire whisper under his breath yes master what do you say master and i'm gonna provoke an aop and run away you wouldn't because she was attacking the dyer uh, but he's been attack. they've been in combat. It'll it'll still provoke, unfortunately. Um I will make it there with a double move on if unless I die, of course. <sighs> there we go. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh. oh and I die. Five damage. <laughs> Through the back of our gong farmer beard no. as they try to run away. God. How far do you think his corpse got before he died? <laughs> I didn't get <laughs> any important question. Does he get About possessed there. by the skull? About there, the skull he, goes. <laughs> he turned his back and died. <laughs> Rolling forward like a bowling ball. Rested peps, Damn. dude. R.I.P. All right, woodcutter. Uh, woodcutter's gonna try to kill this monstrosity in front of him with a spear. Do it. Uh, that's not it. That's not it. Uh, um, gone. You could burn. Are you out of luck? You're, yeah, yeah. You, you these two up okay. here are out of luck. Okay. Uh, rope maker's gonna try to like get on either side of it. Um, and he'll swing with his club. Oh Ooh. my god. Nice. You chunk this thing with your club. Wow. Good gracious. And you guys are beating the piss out of it. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, the, the cut purse sees the, um, this red beastman coming down. And he's like, oh, no, 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 you don't. Um, if I throw a thing of oil, will it? Is it just like a five foot square, or will it like spread out into like a four, a two by two? 
Like a uh, oil would be like a five foot square out of like a vial or something like that. It's not a tremendous amount of liquid. All right, I think. Um, would uh, thirty feet away, chucking a thing of oil, would that be um, D sixteen plus agility? Yeah. Yep. Maybe he'll slip on it if I miss. <laughs> okay. Please let him slip on it. <laughs> You're trying to coat him in oil. It's not going to like burst into flames without fire, you know. Oh yeah, no, I know. Okay. He's, he's setting up. Um, not one d six. Yeah, just flat. Uh, is that uh, a one, uh, one? You need a one point of luck. All right, Al Alphonse can spend it. He's only spent two luck this adventure. <laughs> okay. You do it, and you smash oil all over this thing. It's like, Wah! yeah. He's just out. hoping to slow him down, and now he's gonna like run. Uh, he's gonna move thirty feet this way. <laughs> okay. All right. Fair, fair play. How about our woodcutter up top? Oh, you already. Yep, yep. I'm, I'm good. You attacked with the woodcutter as well. Yeah, he missed. Um, what about the rope maker? He, he clubbed. He hit. Okay, got yep. it, got it. All right, all right. Clubbing. Wow, what a tense situation. Mm -hmm. um, this thing is going to chase after you. Um, <laughs> you tell me the oil didn't slow him down. <laughs> uh, he's, moving, he's moving at uh, half speed there. Like a there. slippery banana, possibly. Like, whoa. Probably, probably not going to last for much longer, but uh, slowed him down for a bit. Okay. Oh my god. Fortunately, Joey, you're the only one left here. Uh, it goes to attack you. Mm. Oh, yes. It loses his weapon, or like that drops, so loses scared. the grip on its spear. Okay, let me mark that so I remember. It looked like it was about to roll a 19 and then it just fell just ever so slightly to the left. The one. Right. This guy. I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do with this guy. He'll rush past this way, try and get in front of Gimli, and attack. Oh, hi uh, Yeah, yeah. Uh, about that. Oh. Can you spend luck on that? Mm, that? No, there's no luck you can spend for that, fortunately. Playing our chief dwarf. Damn it. I was gonna pick up the fucking skull on my turn and toss it to Silent Jail, but that comes out the window. Oh, that's the wrong one. Okay. Fortunately, we lose another party member. Uh, got him. Halfling Dyer, toss me the skull. <laughs> Where's this guy? All right. They got you surrounded here, Joey. They're going to just try and grab you. All right. Oh my God. Another natural one. <laughs> Protected Joey. by actual God. They're all sweaty. Toss me the skull. Where's this guy? Oh my God. What are you even doing over here, dude? You don't even know. Are you talking shit to your NPC? <laughs> <laughs> well, he all ran right. all the way down to fight us, then we all climbed the wall, and now he has to run, run back. I think it's only fair that... Fumbo, you have 11 luck left? Have you not spent any? I've been spending it, I think, from Senek and Erst. I don't think Fumbo's used much. Wow. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, so I'm going to attack the person with the least luck and the rope maker, and the woodcutter both have zero. So we'll leave it up to a dice roll. Thank you for reminding me. No, I almost got luck. Holy shit. All right, woodcutter. This thing raises a flaming flail. It bursts into the light. It brings it down to crush your skull. Don't scare me. Oh. Two damage. Yeah, that kills Theo. <laughs> oh. It uh, no looking good, boys. This three headed <laughs> mace. Flattering your skull. God almighty. But that is his turn. Animal trainer. All right. Uh. Broken record here, swinging the Minotaur's battle axe. <laughs> Let's do it. You did, you've Let's been Terminator with that thing. <laughs> Come on. Here we go. Oh. Um, poop. AC 13. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll go ahead Two and damage. one luck. <clears throat> no, you don't need to spend any luck. You hit, you oh, hit 14. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> my, my bad. My bad. I don't, I don't know. I'm doing reverse math. You're all good. Uh, <laughs> you chop this thing with the battle axe. Hell yeah. Yeah, you can right. uh, add luck to damage if you want to just juice it. Oh. You hmm. can. Yeah. How, I mean, does it look like that's going to finish him off? I doubt it. It's up to you. You tell me how much you want to add. Um, or any at all. Well, <laughs> um, all right. This is this is a this is a sick and dirty game here. But if if somebody else has zero, uh, I can get down to one and still not be the lowest, right? <laughs> So, yeah, fuck it. Uh, let's spend five of my six luck. This Get that. Yeah. Minotaur's battle axe has served you well, cleaving, literally cleaving your way to the top of the ziggurat. You bury your, your battle axe in the head of this thing, splitting the singular eye. Blue fire erupts from it, and the thing screams and like starts following and decomposing into ash back into the top of the citadel. The building itself starts to rock and shake and you see stones start to fall from the ceiling. And uh, there's like this far away scream that, that is echoing around the whole chamber, the whole starless sea. And the beast men let out this terrified howl and they cover, they cower and start looking around in a panic. Uh, do you want to move? Yes. Um, I, I'll, I'll oh. yell. Uh, oh, sorry. His flail collapses onto the ground, and he's, he has like this suit of blackened armor that collapses off and over to the side of the pit. Oh, you, you're just going to taunt me with the loot. Huh? <laughs> uh, um, that's always putting out a little, little bait for you. <laughs> Uh, does this flail look like something I could possibly wield? Uh, it looks, it looks wait, like wait a menacing, me. wicked weapon. But yeah, it looks like <laughs> maybe it didn't suit you when you first started this adventure, but maybe it suits you now. Fuck yeah, I'll grab that thing. Okay, and gra grabbing it is probably my move action. Yeah. Okay, that's my turn. Oh, well, I gotta research something. Yeah, the curse you get by picking up this flail. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... This thing bursts back to life when you pick up the flail. The what? magma, like, resurges back out into, like, a... Uh, just a long tentacle of, like, magma, and it slams down randomly on one of you. <laughs> um... <laughs> Seemingly fucked up. <laughs> triggered by the uh, by picking up the flail. I am going to add our buddy, uh, the villager, into the rotation. So one, two, three, four. Three is the villager. One is the animal trainer. Two is the rope maker, and four is our ditch digger. 
rope maker. <laughs> I'm sorry, friend. Uh, he was already de destined to die. Okay, so... It's not bad, too bad of odds. Let's see if you can get out of the way of an eight. Uh, yeah, that misses. So this magma tentacle slams down trying to grasp whoever has picked up its flail, but then it just slithers slides back down into the fiery pit and you can see the lava slowly descending um, and the ziggurat itself starts shaking now. The stone blocks start shaking extremely violently. The water all around you starts to uh, boil and slosh around and stones continue to fall and it feels like the ziggurat itself is starting to break apart. Um, and with that, I'll pass it to our candle maker. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, apparently this thing's fucking done, so what I'll do is, uh... Okay. Uh... Here's the question. Mm -hmm. You iterative movement. You don't allow it after attacks, but if I move 10 feet here, there was a beast man here that had a spear. I want to pick that up. Could I still move after that? Or is it the same as if I attacked? Um, I don't see you. You can pick up the spear and keep moving. That's fair. Okay. That's fine. I'll pick up that spear. Like I'll slide down, pick it up, and keep running. And I'll shout to the others, "Come on, let's get moving. This place looks like it's ready to collapse." And uh, that'll be it for uh, Saludo. Okay. All right, Peace Scar. I'm sorry. Then's the brakes. <laughs> uh, woodcutter, your RIP, rope maker, and cut purse. Rope maker. Uh, let me describe the scene. With the destruction of the uh, Chaos Lord at the precipice of the ziggurat, you see the beastman's uh, morale is shaken, and he's no longer chasing you. He's like wiping the oil out of his face, and he's looking around with a panic like, what way am I going to go? Uh, rope maker's gonna grab the the blackened armor that this thing wore. Okay. Um, it's heavy, but you pick it up. Yeah, I think he's just gonna muster it, um, and trudge his way down as fast as he can. I have added the flail to your character sheet, animal Ooh. trainer. And the armor I will add to the rope maker. Um, so my strength is plus two. So the to hit should also be plus two. Is that plus right? Plus two and plus two damage. But I think isn't this thing uh have other oh, stuff? Oh really? On it? Let me so see. So the uh, battle axe should also have been plus two to hit. It doesn't calculate it automatically for you. you Got to punch it in, wouldn't you? Make yeah. a weapon. So this whole time, I should have been doing D10 plus 2. You should have, yes. Just like, yeah. I didn't know. Sorry, man. I lost track. You were still fucking everything up with it. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. All right, all right. Uh, I will add that armor to your character sheet, Rope Maker. All right. Uh, what are you, What's our cut purse going to do? Uh, he sees that this creature is, that was following him is start to having like uh doubts um and it seems skittish so um like while it's covered in oil uh he's gonna slowly like start walking towards him and he has a uh, he pulls out his like his starter weapon like he found like a knife in here but he started with a kitchen knife um or he found a dagger in here but he started with a kitchen knife but they're statistically the same and he's like creating sparks as he walks towards it trying to like scare it away and hopefully it I don't know if it has intelligence, but it might know it might get caught on fire. Um, and like, yeah, I like I'll hold my action, I guess. If it like runs to hit me, I'll spark it slash hit it. Okay. Okay. Rope maker, I've added that uh, armor to your character sheet. It's heavy uh, plate mail type armor covered in strange sigils. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> um, it. I think check out the notes. It does some stuff. 
And I'm, I'm not. I'm definitely not wearing it yet, right? Right. Yeah. I think okay. it automatically added it, but I, you can take it off. I just wanted to put it on your character sheet for tracking purposes. All right. Yeah. And that's that's my turn. Okay. Uh, beast then. This guy. As you come towards him, he panics and jumps into the sea and starts uh, swimming out into the water. Yeah, take that. Take that, you stupid thing. see a tentacle pick him up and... Uh, This guy starts to run, Joey. Do you want to take an AOO? Absolutely. Um, It's going to be with the spear. Oh, how the turns table. <laughs> you, so just like Gimli, who was stabbed through the back moments ago, <laughs> or no, our gong farmer was stabbed in the back moments ago, you do the same to this beastman. Laying it. Adding to the corpse pile. Lovely. Okay. Uh, right. Mm. This one. Run past you. Start to make a break for it. Chunks of stone are starting to fall from the ceiling. Waves are crashing up against the side of the ziggurat now. And the stones are starting to move apart. And you can see this like golden light pouring out from the cracks in between the stones. Um, and the beast men are just screaming and running for their lives, abandoning uh abandoning the fight do you want to take another aoo joey oh my god i'm getting multiple oh, yeah. aoos i don't know why i wouldn't want to <laughs> <laughs> wait th- there's no limit on aoos in this game? uh-uh if you're double Holy engaged and i mean they're both trying to kill him so Holy i think it's shit. fair another one for cynic right the the yep, halfling cynic. all yep. right he's gonna go again Ooh. Oh, that ain't good, Oof. baby. Small. <laughs> 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 Whoa! <laughs> you gotta. So you are prone. Um, Son of a bitch! Just like one of the loose span. rocks from the ceiling crashed down beside him, and that trips him. <laughs> Trip over your big stupid halfling feet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why'd you have to call him stupid? Yeah. Who said that? <laughs> um, <laughs> nobody. God. Uh, let me do something real quick. Okay, he's fine. He jumps down. He's going to move to the edge and he jumps into the water. Uh, the waves are like smashing around. It just seems like somebody's got to do something to get out of here. Animal trainer, you hold the flail and the bat in one hand and the battle axe in the other. Um. So yeah, I'm. So I'm de- I've been debating uh, between running all around and around to get down, or uh, jumping down level to level. Um. I'm. I'm Dangerous. imagining. Yeah, um, I'm imagining using the battle axe as, like, a hook to, like, hook it on the the edge and, and uh, I don't know. Remember, you're covered in, you, you have this heavy chain mail on that would make, it makes climbing really difficult. Okay, well then, let's start running. Um, uh, you should move 25, too, uh, by the way. Just because oh, the armor. Of 30. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I run um, past the blacksmith, telling him that it's time to go. And um, all right, so that's 15, 20, 25, and then another 25. And that's my turn. Okay. Nico, your remaining uh, elf. Yeah. Five. Five. I guess me. There. Joey, you're up yeah. next. I run down. 
Oh, I'm standing right where the skull is as well. It's still whispering. You are. Um, <laughs> you I see, can't. it's it's the blue has faded now, and it's like crumbling on itself. It's just like it's massively aged in a short amount of time. Mm. Looks like the magic has faded from it. That'll be it. Okay. Dire. Uh, or Fumbo. S- oh, uh, <laughs> whichever uh, one. Fumbo is gonna start hauling ass towards the boat, like everyone else is. Um, but th- are those still those two down here? They're running away. Okay, they're running away. I'm I'm gonna jump down that ledge. If I can, can I use my the my the spear? Umbo's out from the flood. Um, do you want no, you no, wanna... no, no, no. Uh, the spear. I thought I already hurled it. Uh, I'm talking about the shovel. I wanted to actually use it to like leap and try to gain some distance and get closer to the boat. Um, it's like ten feet down. So it's like steps as it goes down. You can definitely roll agility checks, but if you you fail, you're gonna take falling damage, and which, which could potentially kill you. Just know the consequences. You do have some luck. Hey, Fumbo's got a lot of luck, actually. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna start to head straight downward this way. Uh, he's got 30 speed. I'm gonna try to go right here if I can on multiple leaps. I'm a risk for the biscuit, baby. All right. Well, that's you can do one. Da- do you can one. move and get down. Uh, so roll an agility check. Let's just see how the first first steps go. <laughs> oh boy, his agility is isn't, isn't that bad. But let's see. I shouldn't have said that, probably. Oh, Ooh. God. <laughs> All right, you got to burn three luck to s- succeed. He's going to do it. Three luck okay. is gone. <laughs> okay. So with your turn, you can get down to here. All right, cool. That's exactly what he does. Okay. Um, uh, and with my halfling dire, Senec, uh spiral case. Stands up. Remember, he's prone. Yeah, he has to stand up. Uh, d- how many feet, like, or how much movement does that take to like stand up or anything? Like, does it cost movement to stand up? Yeah, it's an action. Okay, one action. I'd so you take... can move twenty feet. All right, cool. Uh, he's gonna okay. take twenty feet to move right here. That's it. You do it. Cut purse, rope maker. Uh, now that the whole island kind of is shaking and stuff, uh, cut purse is gonna give pushing the boat off another crack. Okay, roll strength check. God, Mike! Oh, that's oh. enough to, to you put your back into it and you move the boat a bit further into the water. It's going to take more, but you you get it moving somehow. I'll take it. Um, Rope Maker's trudging this armor. Uh, he keeps moving 20 feet to move around me oh yeah i didn't have to i did this is just polite giving you some space <laughs> um yeah with a double move he gets up to here and that's his turn okay uh rip, cut purse you're pushing this boat putting all of your your life strength into it to push it off of the sandbar where you guys had rammed the boat into the ziggurat you're watching as the red bloated beetle guy dog paddles out into the water a tentacle reaches out from the the roiling seas and lifts him up into the air and just pops him like a grape you see his face and eyes just explode and then pulls him underwater and he's gone um, Beastmen continue to run. This one's going to run right past the ditch digger and try and jump into the sand. And then Scar, oof, going to fall. Oh no, it's DC5 under the sand. So he jumps down. 
runs to the edge there. Uh, Scar, we're going to bring you in as the village blacksmith here. We'll roll your stats later, Hi. but you can start playing again, and you have 30 feet of movement, typical villager stuff. You're delirious. You have rope burns. You're malnourished, but somehow you're alive. It's only oh, logical you- I jump head first off. <laughs> first, <laughs> I gotta give you control of this token. Hold on. <laughs> you just go swan dive off the uh, <laughs> like dolphin the dive off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I'll bowl for it. Yeah. All right. I just made you the owner of that token. Let me see. Ah, there you, oh. there you go. And we'll roll your stats. Uh, when we uh, finish tonight. Okay. For okay. Me? All right. Back on the board. Um, oh, I took you out of initiative. A beastman. More beastman. Uh, this one, a wave crashes over it. And next thing you know, he's just gone. You're not sure what happened to him. Swimming out in the water. He went home. (laughs) He went home. Became one with the sea. Animal trainer. All right. Let's start measuring movement. Um, Five. Ten. Thirty. Okay, that's thirty. And um, now... Five, forty, forty-five, fifty. All right, that's my turn. All right. Do I go. will make my way over to the ledge here. And is there something I could secure a rope on? Uh, the stones are starting to break apart and like fall. Um. Uh, sure, though. If you, I mean, here, this is what uh, you have no luck. No, there's nothing to secure a rope to. <laughs> I would have you okay. roll a luck check to find something, but the place Here is like at. breaking apart. Waves are crashing okay. from both sides. Stones are falling from the ceiling. Okay. <laughs> Hear me out. You're saying the place is breaking apart. Uh huh. Is there a crack? Why, like, wide enough but narrow enough that I could take the scissors I have, stick them in there, like wedge them in there hard enough and tie a rope around that. I like your thinking. Um, I like your thinking. And you're a candle maker. <laughs> so he's especially good at tying rope to scissors. Let's just do a DC 10 agility check. You can do this. Okay. So, 14. in the heat of the moment, you're able to fashion a, a improvised scissor rope ladder. Or secure a rope, I should say. In between some of the stones that are kind of like vibrating apart. You're not sure how long it's going to last, but it's working for the time yeah. being. Finally, those scissors from the start of the game come into use. I'll uh, shout to the rest. Come on, I've secured a rope. Let's get down. And, uh... I can't climb down it this turn, but next turn. Joey. Um, seeing... You said you secured it. Yep, you can just, if you want to just climb down right here, Joey, you can. Alright. And that's your whole action, your whole turn though, is to move there and then climb down. Fine by me. Um, the... My boy Fumbo. Uh, DC 10 or DC 5 not to hurt yourself jumping into the sand here. All right. Oh, boy. (laughs) Oh, please. Oh, I'm going to do it. Yeah. Nice. And he did it. (laughs) He did it. Uninjured. (laughs) <laughs> the stones are like falling apart around you waves are crashing up the cut purse is putting his whole might into pushing this ship and out into the water 
And then uh, it's his turn. Hey, you. Stop gawking, help me. And Cut Purse is going to roll another uh, strength. Mm -hmm. DC 15 to get it moving. Oh, it's 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 reached a point where it's stuck. Gonna have to really put your back into it or get some help to keep it moving. Oh, oh Lord. Help me dig a ditch around this thing. <laughs> um Rope Maker's gonna use the rope that the chandler hoisted. Uh still uh, acrobatics, right? Or agility. Uh to use the rope is free now that it's secured. Okay. Uh, you, did, did it. <laughs> you can climb down with the standard and then move from there since you're next to the rope. Okay. Yep. Uh, and then he will. Yeah, that's as far as he can get. Remember, if you're moving, uh, if you're wearing heavy armor, it takes your movement down a little bit. Yeah, that's uh, why I is it just the? Is it just like the move, the like the wearing it, or just the weight of it? The weight of it. it oh, it's just clunky. Okay. You're not you're not wearing any here, but Okay. Alright. This guy runs to the edge, panicked. This whole ziggurat is coming down. So they've got to get out of here. So he goes and jumps off the ledge into the sand. Oof. Just barely makes it without hurting itself. Alright. <laughs> This one jumps into the water, starts to swim away. Animal trainer. All right, I will move up to the scissor rope and mm -hmm. then move down it. Okay. Candle maker. Go down uh, my rope. And since I'm right next to it. Yeah, and, uh, you can move. Yeah. Very good. To here. Joey. Boy. All right. Uh, gonna. You say I could use basically like uh, double my speed. Yeah, you or... can double. You can use your move action and your standard action to move. All right. That would mean I can only go to about here. A little halfling feet. Yeah, <laughs> Peter Pat. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna assist the cut purse and actually move a little closer. Can I? Ha have they dislodged it from the shoreline? Yeah, for every oh. every person pushing the boat lowers the DC a little I'm bit. Gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna take my trusty little shovel and I'm gonna try to use it as like a a point of leverage to try to pry the 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 ship as best I can to like. Get it off, off the. I like it. Sand. You're getting the ship off. Wow. That's how good Jerking it is. it off the shore. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> All right. Uh, what was it? Uh, strength, I guess. What do I strength. use? Yep. Uh, yep. Okay. Come on, boy. Oh. Oh, not oh, enough. Right, it was gonna feet. land high. Uh, use more strength. It's just. I mean, you you guys really high centered this boat when you came you came in a bit. Yeah, high. we came in guns ablaze and practice. Oh yeah, Elmig was banged, that drunk like there was no tomorrow. Cut <laughs> purse. The DC is lowered with the ditch digger helping you. All right. Uh, I think like while he's pushing, he's like looking back at the the beastmen that keep on jumping into the water. And, like he saw like he's basically seeing them kill themselves because he saw the tentacles still active and stuff. Um, and he's looking at the monkey man i uh, there's a spot on board the ship if you help uh he's gonna keep pushing roll a personality check let's see i could spend luck <laughs> <laughs> that flat like you already knew <laughs> is this your new character the monkey man <laughs> it could be like, <laughs> you'd have to spend um I have six points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly how much I don't have. Uh, All right, so. um, it will keep pushing the boat. <laughs> Stupid. It's a bit difficult man. to convince a, uh, I don't know, beast man that 
Yeah, yeah I, I don't know if the slaughter so many of his friends. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, We're all in the you same really boat put now, your though. you really put your back into that first first push, <laughs> and you just you're trying to find <laughs> the strength since. Okay, it's located. Uh, see the struggle. It's gonna help. Mm-hmm. All right. Do you see lowers with the more people helping? <sighs> All right. Old man strength. The boat is almost dislodged. One more check will move it out. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this beast man <laughs> kind of turns and looks at you, cocks his head, takes a step towards you like, May- maybe that's the way to go. And then just a stone crumbles down north of north of him, making a huge booming sound that scares him. And he just jumps into the water, uh, swimming away, doggy paddling away. Both beastmen, animal training, cresting through the water, blacksmith, like a do- <laughs> like a dolphin, blacksmith. Did he get the? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I was gonna say I don't think removed. I'm gone. I'm sorry, my friend. Top of the um, round, blacksmith. Go ahead. That boy. Oh, if I can move more than that, but I go down the rope. Yep, move to the rope and go down. Yep. The top of the ziggurat now, like, crumbles over and sloughs off to one side, black smoke pouring out of the top of it. There's, like, a golden light peering out of the cracks as the place is crumbling. Our animal trainer runs to the boat. Our candle maker runs to the boat. I can... We'll move to get up next to it here. Okay. Or could I stand here as well to make more space? Uh, sure. That's fine. More people pushing. Our pile of dead is kind of in the way. (laughs) Get out of the way! I'll move it here. Need a semi-truck. (laughs) Alright, it looks like a giant middle finger. To me. (laughs) Yeah, it does. (laughs) <laughs> Joey. All right, beautiful. All right, uh, my halfling going to also run up, join join the group. Go, can't we get this fucking boat off the goddamn shoreline already? Even uh, when we're under threat of a cave collapsing in on us, you're still pretentious. <laughs> yeah, this is absolutely ridiculous. Um, where's the manager? I would God, like to Karen. speak to your manager. <laughs> <laughs> you need to rename him to Karen now. <laughs> Karen. Who is yeah. the Beastman's manager? Let me speak. We killed him. <laughs> All right. Uh, so what do I... I guess I'll just roll strength. Then. Yeah, uh, just hit it, with, hit it with strength. Come on, please. No. <laughs> the boat's like got a little bit of algae and slime on the front. You just don't want to put your hands on it. <laughs> <laughs> too much. Oh, jeez. Uh, uh, there's this barnacle. I don't like them. Uh, can I use a uh, fumbo to roll a second time? Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Please. Okay. <gasps> oh. That's enough, fumbo. You push the boat, dislodging it from where you guys high centered it onto the beach of the ziggurat and now it's kind of like free floating you see the front of it has been caved in a little bit but it's the only floating thing here in the sea so it's gonna have to work all right but i think you're underestimating how sturdy shipwood is none of us are technically in the boat though right like we just pushed it into the sea or into the water no it's just dislodged from from being high centered and stuck so now we have to make an attempt to get into the boat then, yes. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to oh, turn boy. it around. All right. Um, can um, I do anything else with either of my boys? Either Senec or Fumbo, or that's it? I think we're at a point. You guys are all going to rationally just climb into this boat, right? Okay. We all- oh, yeah. No, I don't uh, think- you guys go ahead. I'm, I'm going <laughs> to stay behind. <laughs> I don't want to speak for you, but this, this ziggurat is sinking into the sea. The roof is collapsing around you. There's massive waves crashing in from all directions. Um, If somebody wants to do something other than that, uh, let me know. 
Time for a swim. Hearing right? none. It sounds like our survivors climb into this glowing Viking longboat. Huge waves are crashing around you, and a towering wave propels you with terrifying speed towards the distant cave wall. And the building starts to crumble and break away, and you see the sea itself is flowing out of this crack in the wall. The whole thing is draining. The ziggurat is crumbling into the sea, smoke and steam now billowing out from the lava that was contained within. Huge chunks of the ceiling are falling down. The whole place is collapsing. Um, ahead through a towering sea, a tower sea of towering white caps and debris of following boulders, you spy the mouth of a narrow cave. The dragon proud ship rides down the crest of the giant wave and shoots through the rocky maw, the howling surf crashing all around you. And then the underground river rushes on through the darkness, drawing your boat with it in an irresistible current. There is no light save to which you bring your bring yourselves which reflects off the damp walls and glitters in the water spray, as though the river tunnel hurdle, hurdles you through a galaxy of stars. Ahead of you, you can hear the crash of water on stone, and beyond that, the roar of a subterranean falls. The boat sweeps around a bend in the tunnel and dashes on a hard jut of black rock. You can just make out a beach of rounded pebbles to the left before your lights are doused by the river and the shards of your vessel are swept shar sharply to the right to thunder down what sounds like a deep cataract. So our party is washed down this river. The boat breaks apart as you're trying to escape, being dashed into the rocks. You're holding on to what debris you can. And as you come around a bend, there's a stony beach that your whole party washes up on. And the rest of the mangled debris of ship goes careening down this cave and you hear it like crumbling and crashing down a bunch of rocks uh, below. And next time we will pick it up with our survivors in this cavern on this beach in some unknown place. And they're all level one. Oh, hell oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. So please go through the rule book. Uh, pick out a class. The elf becomes an elf. The halfling becomes a halfling. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, uh, you guys can pick your classes. Um, and I have a homebrew rule where you can swap when you become level one. You can swap two stats. So, for example, our rope maker has an eight strength and a 13 personality. They could swap the two. So now they have an eight personality and a 13 strength. Um, yeah, so please read up on your classes, and I think we need to roll some stats for Scar. So let me send you the macro. Beautiful. Nice work. That was pretty insane to survive yeah. 25 yeah. Yeah. I thought we were so dead. <laughs> I feel like, like we did everything the hard way. Yeah, we chose the most, the path of most resistance. Yeah, since we're out of it as well now, uh... Yeah, we chose the path Briny. of righteousness. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's been yeah. dying to know the answer to this, Brandy. Yeah, yeah what do you want? Which one and... do you want to know? Was my suggestion about giving it that gold that we found correct? Giving it gold will work, but it takes a, a 